Hi, and welcome to Story Mode 1-7 Slopes. Easy and optimal strat. Wall boosts. The goal of this strat is to use the left wall and then the right wall to pick up enough speed without going backwards to bounce off of the first and third ramp and go straight into the goal. Which ramps you use of the of the third row and uh, which, which walls you take are mostly up to preference, although I believe that left wall, right wall, and hitting this ramp right on the edge here is the fastest and most consistent way to complete the stage. But it's more so up to what's, whatever's comfortable and consistent for you. The times you should be getting with this strat are about mid-53. 53.6 uh, if it's really fast, 0.7, depending on how nice your walls are. And the key, the subtle key to the strat, which is why a lot of people find it inconsistent and scary, is getting, of course, two nice tight walls and landing back on the starting platform. Landing back on the starting platform seems to better convert your speed to forward momentum as opposed to vertical, which helps convert the ramps then to uh, a nice high hit into the goal. Another um, very important critical thing to do you should be doing when doing all strats that skip over gaps is be constantly air boosting. Always be holding diagonals, flicking back and forth so that you can cover distances that might not work normally if you don't get enough speed. Um, some common mistakes that I see on doing this stage is, uh, again, your, if your boosts aren't too good, if you pro boost, don't use hard diagonals. You probably won't have enough speed to get to the goal. That was pretty good, actually, but see, I clipped off the top. Um, another problem might be if you're not air boosting, if you play very passively, you can get really nice walls at the beginning, but if you just hold up, you won't nearly have enough air time to get into the goal. So always be air boosting. Make sure you get nice tight walls and land back on the starting platform if possible. Uh, for the rest of the stage, I will just show off uh, a couple different ways this track can go and potentially how to back up a bad attempt, depending on uh, <laughs> how well I'm playing in each of these attempts. Another important thing to note is that uh, you do want to clip off of uh, the very inner part of whichever ramp you hit. You see there, I didn't get enough speed, so I backed it up by going up the ramp. That's faster than retrying, typically, depending on how fast you can back it up. But you see, I always want to hit the inner side of it, because that's the closest to the goal. Again, whichever ramp you pick is preference. I really think the one on the, on the far right is the best one, but that's just my personal bias. And there you have it. That is how you do slopes with wall boosts. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this helps.